So what I'm going to do now is create my first div. So I'm going to click in here, go to my div area. I'm going to right click on here, go to advanced properties, add the attribute that wants ID. And what I want in here is container and OK. OK, so let's change the properties of this container. So I'm going to go back to my CSS now, make sure I'm on the correct one. OK, click on the palette. I want one of the ID attributes and the one I want currently is container and let's create the new style rule. So I want to do very little here just like I did in the previous one. I'm going to go to the box. I am going to change the width to 800 pixels. I'm going to change the right margin to auto, the left margin to auto. I'm going to go to the background. I'm going to change the background of background color to white and I'm going to say OK and I'm going to say OK to that because I think that's all I want to do at this moment in time so I'll say OK to that OK so that's great so I'll just press and return a few times in here to make a little bit of space for myself I'm going to go back up to the top now and I'll just save that very quickly so I'll click on save that's excellent so we've got the basic first div in, we've got a CSS set up, so now we can move on to the next element and again I want a banner just like I did it before, so I'm going to go in here, get my next div, right click in and I'll go to advanced properties and in here the attribute I want is ID, I want the value, I want banner and I'll say OK and I'll just put the image in as I'm going here now, so I'm going to click on image I'm going to go to the location, which is the new location, and the image I want here again is banner and open. The alternative text is I'm going to use exactly the same, so it's the BA home page. The dimensions will remain the same. The appearance, I'll make sure that goes into the center, and there is no link, and I'll say OK to that. That's excellent. I'm going to save that, and just like I would with any other page, I will F5 it to make sure that it's still looking OK out there and again instantly I see I haven't dealt with the top margin problem so I'm going to go back to Composer and again going to deal with that so I'm going to double right click on the body go to advanced area and again put in top margin and what I want is a zero value and I'll say OK and again save this again and let's go back to um, our browser, update it, yes, so that's that problem dealt with, excellent. So let's go back to um, the website editor again in Composer and the next thing we need to look at is to start to build the left menu and the right menu area or the main area as the case may be and again the footer. So again we are going to have three certain areas here one to the left, one to the main, and one for the footer. So we'll deal with the left first. So again, we're going to go in here, again, generic div. It's in here, we're just going to press return a few times so you can see it. So again, right clicking down here with the div, advanced properties, and putting in ID. Sorry, no uppercase, that was my problem, it's my fault. ID, and what I want in here is I want left menu and I will say OK. So that's that done. But now I need to go back to my CSS and put the properties in for the left menu. So click on my palette, go for my ID, and what I want in here is the left menu and create the style rule, which is excellent. So that's that done. So what do we need to do to the left menu to ensure that everything stays there? The first thing is we need to go to the box area we need to tell it to float to the left so in other words it stays to the left area we've also decided over here that we're going to change this to 150 pixels now again it hasn't I haven't magically taken 150 out of the sky it's 800 wide so I've decided to give 150 to this area and the remainder to the main area where the main text will be so that's all I'm actually going to do at this particular area and again for the reasons I've just stated. So I'm going to say OK to that. You'll see that this has greatly reduced. 
so it has it's no longer the full width it's now exactly what I want to be and I'll come back to that shortly once I've created my my final two other divs so making sure that my cursor now is over here just to the upper side but in a little bit I'm going to go in here again and connect create my generic container for my div and again you can see it's gone all the way across from here to here but I'm going to go down here again before I do any attention to it advanced properties ID and I'm going to call this main area and OK I hope I've called that in the book but if not it's you, you understand where I'm going I hope and OK so now I need to set the main area up within the CSS so I'm going to go to my CSS again ref go to my palette and ID and what I want to do here is I want to do the main area and create the star rule so again what do I want to do here again it's mainly in the box I'm going to go to the box and what I'm going to tell it here is I'm going to tell it the width is 625 now you might say to yourself well 150 minus 8 800 is 650 I just want to give it a little bit of wiggle room that's really what I'm doing and I'm going to give that into pixel so I've got a little bit of give with it I'm going to now go tell it that the left margin is 160 160 pixels so it'll take it that away from the left of the container in okay and currently that is all I want to do with that as well so I'm going to say okay so you can see now what I meant by this so this is staying to the left this is staying over to the right and I've got a little gap that's here okay and the final one I want to do now is I want to create the footer so again just create it to begin with and then we'll deal with it so I'm going to go in here and actually again ask for the final div for the two column again right click in here and advanced properties and ID and what I want in here is the footer and OK so again you can see now we do have a problem because this footer is actually sitting I'm going right across this area here also it's up where will eventually be the main area what we want actually is this div to be completely at the bottom down here so again go into my CSS again go on my palette ID and picking up the footer and create the style rule again what do we want to do to here the biggest thing that we need to do here in the box is actually fact where it says clear what we need to say is to clear both all right and basically by doing that you're telling it to clear any of the divs above it clear them but clear the both of them above and that is the biggest thing you need to do in here you don't really need to do an awful lot more so if I just move this out of the way you can actually see now that this div has come down here now with this div you will now continue to do to the footer div what you did to it previously when I showed you the first option with the horizontal so basically we just simply go back to where our information is and we'll go and put that in okay so with the footer div what we did is we went back to the text and we predefined it so it would be Times New Roman we actually also changed the font size to 10 points we changed the line height to 2.2 EMs so it wouldn't be touching the top of the area EM we also made it um, italic we changed the color let's see what we changed the color to we changed it to all the nines and what else did we do color font style yes I think that's all we did and then we went to the border tab and again not all four just to the top we did we said we'd put a groove on top of that and then we said okay then we came back out okay one thing we didn't do already is we didn't center it like we did before so let's go back to the CSS let's go back to the footer let's go back to the text and it was the alignment we wanted it in the center and okay 
So if we begin to type that now, copyright and your name and the year. Okay, and as you can see, it's exactly the same as it was now before. And we now are going to continue into the left area. Again, we'll just save that so we're okay so far. So again, we can actually click, well, we can either do this area or this area. We're going to do it in, this, in the same way as the previous one, so it, it doesn't matter too much. So I'm going to click into here and I'm going to put in heading for page. But again, I haven't changed, I haven't updated my heading one. So I'll just click on heading one there and you can see it's coming up with that heading one. It's not the heading that we have on the previous page, but not to worry, you understand now how to change that, to change the color, the text, the size, etc. for your page to come up. Now we just need to focus in here and to get our icons, images, buttons, whatever you want to refer to them in here so that they can link to the other pages for us. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to go back to table just like I did with the other bar because again for the same reason I think it gives us far more flexibility and far more control. So I'm going to click on this and again rather than going across I'm going to go down. So one, two, three, four, five. But you might be interested to know I'm actually going to go and actually in fact I want ten. So it's only given me six. So I'm going to go to go to precisely. So I want ten rows by one column. And again, I want 100% of the window, which is what it's going to be. And I don't want any borders, so I'll get rid of the borders straight away. And I'll say OK. So as you can see, it's gone straight down, and that's what I want. So um, I'm going to put them in every other one, I think. And again, I don't think I'll put it right at the... Well, I might. I'll just check it out. I'll see what happens first. But I might actually bring it down. So I'll just put one image in, and I'll go back and just mess around with it then. So I'm going to go and click on the image and again going in here and again finding it in the right place and what I want in here is home so click on home and open it again this is 150 remember it's given me 155 so we do exactly the same as what we did before put in our alternative text so it's BA home page the dimension is just too big so we're going to customize it down to 150 to suit what we've actually put in. The appearance again, I'm going to center it because I'm just in case. And the link I want in this instance again is index for the home page, HTML, and I will say OK. So before I go any further, I'm going to save that and I'm going to go and have a look at it out on the browser to see what it's looking like. So I left five to update that. And hey, that's good. I don't think I'm going to move that actually because I like it that it's quite close to that. All right, but I might just do it once and just see is what's better. So I don't know whether I can copy and paste this down here, but we'll just see. There we go. It did work. Again, I would actually simply click back on the image to make sure everything else with with it, and indeed it did. So that's great. So we'll say okay to that. We'll save it again, and we'll go back out again to see what it looks like. F5 to update it and there I think I prefer the first one where it's nice and tight to the top not with so much space so again this is entirely your choice at the end of the day so I'm going to go back and I'm going to take that back and put it up there so just move and copy move and drag it good I am going to leave a one between again just for, I think it will look better and again if it doesn't I can change it at will so again, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and just put these all in as normal in exactly the same way as we did in the previous one, except this time it's vertical as opposed to horizontal. So I'll be back to you in a sec. OK, so that's them all done. So I'm just going to quickly save that. I'm going to go back out to my browser, update, and there we go. So I, I actually think I'm going to leave them with one between because I think it makes it a little bit better so it's not too tight. I suppose I could go back and again experiment with the spacing between here, but for now I'm going to leave it alone. So that brings us to the conclusion of how to insert a two-column display and how you set it up in a div situation. So for the next one I will be returning to my horizontal 
uh, website to continue on. See you soon.